Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at a 2015 Ram uh, 2500 with a 6.4 liter Hemi in it. What's going on is I have a fault code, a 0128, uh, which basically tells me that my uh, coolant temperature isn't getting up to the proper operating temperature. Uh, I, I ran a diagnosis on it and you know followed, followed the, the temperatures and everything and so I'm looking at about an operating temperature of 190 degrees. Uh, from my understanding, these thermostats actually kick in at about 216 degrees. And so what we're going to be doing is uh, replacing the thermostat in this uh, Ram truck. Uh, the one thing that has to, you know, with, with this thermostat is the housing and the thermostat are actually integrated together along with a sensor. So it's it's not your basic thermostat that we had you know 10 years ago this is now a piece of the engine that has to be replaced so here's exactly what that looks like so you can see here where we have our spring and everything but it's it's integrated into the housing so you can see this is actually milled out to where this stop you know catches it uh, it's got an integrated o-ring you can see here the sensor is built in uh, so this this isn't cheap you know this isn't one of those ones that you can get from uh you know your your local auto parts for you know twelve dollars or so um these are actually you know right around a hundred bucks uh, my truck has about seventy two thousand miles on it so this shouldn't have failed yet i have looked around on the internet and uh you know seeing that you know th this this is a common occurrence so i don't know if it's going to become some sort of a uh recall in the future um, we'll have to see but for now I'm tired of that check engine light so we're, we're gonna replace it okay so here we are in the truck um, I don't know if you guys can see this down in here so here's the upper radiator hose right here if you follow it in you're gonna see it's actually gonna go uh, right into here into that thermostat housing Let's see if I can move this hose out of the way here so the idea is that this bolt here you can't hardly see it and there's another bolt on the other side I'm gonna see if I can get in there with some sort of an extension and a swivel and uh, loosen those and then pull everything out out this way here replace it I, I might even leave it on the hose um, I'll, I'll you know cross that bridge when I get there but it looks like a pretty simple job so we're gonna go ahead and tackle that and, and see what happens so here's what I'm using here. So I went ahead and and uh, got a large extension. Uh, I'm using an all quarter inch drive. Um, it seems like it's you know pretty pretty tight in there. So I'm using my small quarter inch drive uh, ratchet, and then I am using a long 12 inch extension. You can see it, but this one here is also a wobble extension. So. Um, it, it gives it, you know, just enough wobble to get into tight spaces, but I don't lose, uh, you know, some of that torque that you need. Uh, I understand th these are probably going to be torqued down quite a bit. Um, not a lot, but ju just enough uh, to where I want to be able to, get, you know, get a solid, uh, you know, twist on it. And then this here is a, a 13 millimeter uh, shallow socket. So... This one is a 3 8 drive that I put, you know, a, an adapter into. Um, so you could use just a normal quarter inch drive if you had it. You could probably do all this with, with, um, you know, 3 8 But so you can see here, it's almost a, a pretty good shot of that bolt right there. I know you got a, looks like bypass hose or something in your way metal hard line um, so you can't quite see it but let's see what happens when I oh, there we go so that one's broken loose so now comes a hard one I've got one way down in here that I've got to figure out how to get to the problem with these trucks too is they're pretty high up off the ground so
I don't know if you can quite see the angle that I'm at over here, but I'm actually laying on top of this engine. But I got it broken loose, so that accomplished the job that I needed done. So let's see if I can get these loose here. So I actually priced this out at the dealership to get this job done, and uh, they wanted uh, a little over $500 to do this whole thing. I want to say it was like 540 bucks. That included the cost of the thermostat, which I'm guessing is still leaves about $400 worth of labor. Um, you probably have to pay for the fluid that's lost, you know, the coolant. Um, I don't know. Let's say you lose forty dollars worth of coolant. So this is still quite a bit of money for the small amount of labor that's involved. You just gotta be you just gotta be nimble. That's that's all. So there's this first bolt that's out. So there's that one. Let's see if I can get the other one out. The other one should be easier. That's the front bolt. The problem might be putting these things back in, but you don't really know until you get there, right? Move that out of the way so you can see. I always stop a little before the bolt's completely out. Otherwise, they tend to fall down and never come back again. So, there's a second one. Now, if everything works out right, I should be able to pull this off, drain the fluid. There it goes dropping down there. See it? I have to disconnect the electrical. So you can see that, that plug there that I'm wiggling. It just pushes down right here where my thumb's at and then pulls straight out. As I crawl around on top of the truck, engine. There we go, got it out. Alright, so let's take a look at this here. So, I can't really see any any point of failure here, to tell you the truth. Um, the little check ball in there, right here, it still moves around freely. Um, springs in and out freely. I, I really expected this thing to be held open out of the way, um, since I wasn't reaching temperature. But, I don't know, the only other possibility here is that maybe the sensor went bad and you know it's I don't really know how good of a design that is you know that this sensor here you, you would think that you'd be able to just replace this um, you know because how much could that sensor cost was that you know $20 sensor $40 sensor <laughs> you know e either way uh, the expensive part is this here where you know or this is a cast part, um, you know, and then machined out to accept a thermostat. So, I don't know. Uh, looking at the date here, so it looks like it's a 2014, um, which makes sense. This truck's a 2015. So, uh, anyway, the, the part number on this one, I was noticing, the part number on this one here uh, actually ends in an AB. And my other one here 
ends in an AC. So I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they've changed the design on these. Uh, you know, maybe this is the next generation. So we'll see. I'm going to put it in. So my next step here, get some, some pliers. I'm going to squeeze this down, pop this hose off, pop the new one on, try to keep it in the same position because that went in, you know, uh, quite nicely. And then uh, I'll drop it back down into the slot and, and then, uh, you know, bolt her on down. So we'll go from there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is kind of an extra step, um, but it's not, it's not that much extra, you know, that it's a waste of time. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make sure that all this lines up um, when, whenever I get back. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera there. But what that's going to do is that's going to ensure that whenever I put that hose back down in there, that I'm not fighting the twist of the hose to try and get the try and get the new thermostat in, uh, or try and get the bolt started, or things like that. Um, you know, so that was a 10 second extra there. So here's the fun part. Here's where I either succeed in getting this hose off, or you know, I have to get a new hose, or I get to go to the emergency room with a hole in my hand. Um, I hope it's the first one. Let's get the hose off. I don't want to damage anything. I'm just gonna break all that that friction that's left in there. There we go. So there's our line right there. It's gonna line up with that midline there. Let's grab the new one. Let's line it back up. A little bitty twist. Got it. Third time's a charm. Come up one more. There we go. All lined up still. Now the fun part. You get to see if I can feed this back into place while holding on to bolts. Take my watch off. We'll be right back. Well, good thing is, for this one, I don't need to. What I was saying before I accidentally knocked the phone off the stand is for this one, I don't need to climb back up and do my acrobats on top of the engine all right it's back in there just gotta move all my hoses back into place Make sure I get these little sleeves where they go There we go. So, 
took me about 25 minutes and I was getting tools and everything so the only thing I got to do now is uh, fill her with some coolant um, you know maybe pop the top jack up the front end if I got to bleed some air I, it's got that little uh, check valve there that I, I'm pretty sure that that's that's designed to help eliminate you know any of those air bubbles that could get trapped behind that thermostat um, so th those should squeak on by and by loosening everything up you know right over here open everything up let it run for a little bit let it reach operating temperature it should bleed that that air right out of there and then uh, we'll be good to go